Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Good afternoon Wesley, uh, Stephen as well, channel members, very warm welcome to you guys too and everybody else tuning in and watching as well. You join us at Marco Polo International at Venice and uh, we're there in that stunning BA livery. Water Dreaming I think it's called, uh, based on some uh, Australian terrain in the northern section of Australia. It was a paint scheme based in 1997 that BA put on a lot of their aircraft. Looks good on the smaller ones. Wasn't a fan of the big ones, of course. Jacob Tyler, very warm welcome to you. And uh, we've got a couple of guys flying back with us as well. We've got Graham on the left, and uh, I think maybe Darren H on the uh, right in the BA over there too. But sadly, a auto-generated airport with some uh, frankly ridiculous Sobo terrain issues over there, which hopefully will iron out after departure. And we're in the fly-by-wire A32NX as well, of course, with some new stuff in the MCDU, which I'll have a little look at very shortly. Rubber Ducky, hello, welcome. Terry, howdy. Jeff, hello, welcome. And uh, Yorkshire Pud, good afternoon to you. Pretender, hello, welcome to you as well, channel member. Thanks for supporting the stream as always. And uh, what have we got here? There's a 04, and it's a sharp right, right, right again. Lovely. Flight level 360, hello, welcome. So, um, we've got quite a few new updates to the A32NX and uh, I'm just testing out some new additions to the MCDU at the moment which is quite cool. Let's come off X power. So, um, you'll be pleased to know that now the radio stacks have been decoupled guys. So John, hello, welcome. So now, as you can see, when you spawn in, by default now, which is great for VATSIM, the default frequency is 122.8 which is the Unicom selection which is amazing. And on the right hand side you can now independently change your frequencies. So uh, if you, those of you with shared cockpit and things it would be quite good and uh, additionally if you wanted ATIS information you'd be able to go ahead and tune that ATIS information on the right hand side and potentially listen to it. Although I did notice it just changed. Uh, but that's my own fault. I should have done that on VHF 2. There we go. So you can leave that now on a separate stack which is quite cool. Um, but the MCDU is what we're testing today and I was having a little play with it today and it is all linked to all of these THS, the trim hor trimmable horizontal stabiliser markings all along the trim here. So for those of you who have watched my take off performance calculator video you'll know that um, we need to get certain data from the aircraft including our zero fuel weight uh, center of gravity at zero fuel as well and a few other bits so using that information I've gone ahead and, cr and uh, checked our performance using uh, wabpro.cz and I'll put the link in the live chat for you guys there it is Darren good afternoon I think that's you two aircraft to the right isn't it and I've uh, gone in and added our gross weight of 65,400 kilograms zero fuel weight um, center of gravity of 29.4 and it's given us a flex temperature of 72 degrees and I've indicated I want a flat 1 plus F departure uh, which is there and it's told us that we need a Trimble horizontal stabiliser setting of up plus 0 0.2 which is pretty much there and you can see that lines up with roughly where our centre of gravity should be um, although realistically actually it should probably be more here Let's just do a quick recalculation. 29.8. Okay, so it's saying 0 0.3 down. So that's probably about more, more accurate, to be fair. Let's re edit that then, and I'll show you guys how to do it. So we're going to take off with flaps 1. So we go ahead and add the 1, hit the slash, and then for down, we need to go DN, and it was 0 0.3. So you can either go 0 0.3 or just 0 0.3, and then add it in. If you need to change your thrust reduction altitude, um, and we're pretty much at sea level here currently, but because of the nature of the actual departure, if I show you guys Navigraph, and our SID, which is the mm -hmm, Rockib 7 X-ray. So departing on 04 right, departing, and then we're turning out over the bay, we have to be above 3400 foot there and continuing to turn round all the way back to PZ481 
and there was something I was looking at a minute ago that said that we have to um, reduce our, our thrust at about 3,000 or something foot um, what was it, 3,300 foot potentially, so we can go ahead and edit that as well, 3,300 and we can put that in manually we'll see if that works, I don't think it will because um, the acceleration altitude is uh, 1510 uh, but at 3300 uh, foot, so 3300, we should then get that um, thrust reduction setting, which is quite cool. Um, so there it is, because I keep forgetting to do Navigraph. I've gone ahead and just edited that thrust reduction altitude. If you want to clear it, you can click clear and go back there as well, and it takes you back to that default value. And you can amend the transition altitude as well. So if, for example, you are looking for 15,000 foot, you could go ahead and do that as well. Very cool. And uh, make sure your V-speed's all cycled as well. Fuel-wise, we're heading to Gatwick. We estimate to have two tonnes of fuel still left when we get there. And then Heathrow as well as a diversion. And our call sign today, Speedbird 579, which is a real world call sign but for a flight that goes from Venice to Heathrow um, couldn't quite make it work for this one <laughs> we'll do a continuous climb up to 10,000 and uh, pretty much there I think um, we need the weather don't we ATSU AOC weather request let's get the latest metals for both shall we wait for that free text to come through and while we do we will um, finish boarding, boarding complete. and we'll get rid of those uh, that air bridge. Let's print that out, shall we? Make sure we've got that tied in. We're using Unreal Weather, but. Um, after departure, I'll probably go back to MSFS live weather, to be honest. There we go, let's get that over there. Let's have a look. 070 at 15 knots, so a bit of a crosswind on departure. 8 degrees QNH 996. Lovely. So, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Pushback Express is done, all the ground equipment's clear. Just clear up, take off perf calculator. Wow, just catching up on the live chats. John, nice, uh, flight 745 to Dalaman. Chippy, yeah, it's very good uh, development wise actually. And uh, Darren, you're over there, I believe. There you are. And that's Graham in the EasyJet. John, thank you very much for setting your notification. Appreciate you tuning in. And we're going to push back now. Uh, 3,400, probably. Uh, I can't remember, but um, it's just really for testing. Boy, what a hello, welcome. Renew reviews, nice. Good timing then. And uh, we're on Fly UK as well, just logging our trip today. You guys should have the overlay on your screens too, so you can see what's uh, what the crack is, what's going on with our ETA and stuff as we depart. And let's get the ground charts ready. Venice uh, Marco Polo traffic speedbird 579 at stand 326. Push to start facing west. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready Love for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Jacob, uh, no, I don't. Um, I've just got the. Parking brakes released. Effectively, a pushing cheap, back. Cheap set, I guess. Um, Thrustmaster T Flight Hotas X is the uh, kit I've got, which is quite good. Very affordable, so that's uh, always a good thing. Oh, there's now Italia making its way in. You 
can see we've got to push back onto this little bit here. Let me know what you guys think of the... You're cleared behind it, you start your engines at your discretion. Oh. Let me just stop the pushback because we've just had Milan, Milan and Control come online. <laughs> so we freeze where we are so that we can get our clearance. Oh, and he's just gone offline. You joking? Station calling. Uh, my gyroscope just started to die, so stand by just one second. See you. Fine, but. Oh no, it doesn't. It sounds like he is online. He's just his his gyroscope's crashed. So we're gonna have to hold here a second. Um, what are we doing? We haven't got any ATIS information, but uh, we've got Q and H. Milano Control, hello. Uh, Speedbird 579 are at uh, Venice Marco Polo, stand 326 with a Q and H of 996. Airbus 320 in the air, request IFR clearance to London Gatwick. It's all going wrong for me today, guys. My, v uh, my VATSIM flight plan that I filed seems to have lost itself on the server. So let me just quickly refile that. God, I love it when this all goes wrong for us, so... Okay, that's pre-filed. Flat plan fetched. Milano Control, Speedbird 579, a radio check. And uh, Milano is now back. Uh, station calling. Was that Galeo 445? Galeo 445, Milano Control. Good afternoon, flight number 400. Yeah, rubber ducky, his uh, Euroscope. And uh, Galeo 445, scored 540. Software that they use crashed. 420, and uh, what's your current? God, you know what? I hope now we've started pushing, we're not going to get a crash to death stop. <laughs> what time for them to come on, eh? Uh, sorry, Galeo 445, Jeffy, yeah. are you heading direct to a waypoint? I could have completed that push back there, but um, Buffalo, uh, I don't want to upset him. Uh, Milano Control, hello Speedbird, 579 are at stand 326, Venice Marco Polo, Airbus A320, uh, request IFR clearance to Gatwick. Speedbird, 579, uh, clear to Gatwick. Gatwick via Rokub planned route, Rokub 5 Lima departure, runway 04 right. Maintain flight level uh, 70, Scork 5404. Cleared Gatwick, uh, Rokub 5 Lima departure, runway 04 right, and uh, initial climb flight level 70, Squawk 5404, Speedbird 579. Speedbird 579, I read back correct. Let's change this then. Easy 8070 cleared Gatwick via Rokub Rokub 5 Lima departure, runway 04 right. Uh, climb via third plot level 70, squawk 5405. To be fair, there's not much difference. That'll do us. Yeah, Viper, I wasn't sure, and I wasn't sure if it was maybe the decoupled. Um, radios or not, because I was playing with them all uh, earlier, <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'd broke it or not. No, well, happy days. That's 
the next one actually. Speed bed 579 uh, uh, at request push start. Go and let's give a squawk. Ah, dear. Galeo 445 bus squawk 5402 and you can do send plot level 380. Well, let's start the um, safety okay, demonstration while we're waiting for him to acknowledge. And uh, other station calling, was that speedbird 225? Uh, speedbird 579, uh, request push start. Speedbird 579, uh, sorry, were you the one that called for clearance just then, or was that someone else? Uh, a firm, well, about uh, two or three minutes ago, uh, clearance by yourself. Uh, Speedbird 579, I gave you the wrong score code, score 5406, push and start approve ASAP. New score 5406 uh, and uh, push start approved face south, uh, Speedbird 579. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. <laughs> we are ready for push back and engine start. Roger, release the parking brake. It's going to be one of, those, <laughs> one of those days, I think. Parking brake released. Pushing back. To be fair, the tug's actually coming back out to us, which is quite good. I'm, I'm surprised by that. Anyway, safety demo. I think it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> good grief. Control, good afternoon, Steeper 225 Metro. We're getting clear to Gatwick. Speedbird 225, uh, clear to get clear for Eurocube plans route for Eurocube 5 Lima departure, runway 04 right. Uh, initial climb plot level 70, score 5404. Clear to get clear to Eurocube 5 Lima departure, runway 04 right, plot level 70, initial 5 and score 5404. Speedbird 225, bring back correct. Virgin 509, uh, did you, uh, sorry, can you take the Sereno to Papa arrival for 35 left? Hey, Brian, Sereno to Papa 35 left, Virgin 509. Virgin 509, you can continue the descent by the ball, 150. It's just a um, an add-on for the streams. Uh, Try to get on the yellow line at least, shall we? At least that'll go well for us. Speedbird 225, stand by on your push and start. There's an aircraft in. That's a contact plan. Okay, Speedbird 225. Push back complete. Set the parking brakes, please. Parking brakes set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the right with the pin. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Master Joe, Thanks. hello. Have a good flight. See you later. To open the doors, move the handle in the direction of the red arrow. Opening the doors automatically inflates the evacuation slide. The slides can also be inflated by pulling... Easy 8070, uh, traffic ahead of you on Mike, taxi Mike, Sierra holding point zero four left. I see Sierra, I'm going to to Flaps 1 plus F. And Speedbird 579, uh, request taxi. Speedbird 579, uh, taxi Mike. Uh, uh, sorry, taxi Mike, cross 
zero four left Bravo Holly point zero five four right. Taxi, uh, Mike, and uh, cross zero four left. Hold a Bravo for zero four right. Speed at five seven nine. And speed bird two two five looks like the Swiss is parked. Push and start the crew facing. Wait for the coming check. Speed bird two two five. Brakes. Any items with a flight safe mode should have the people enabled now. Wave your wavy to them. That's an easy jet just arrived. Take care your hand baggage if you look in the eye or exit. Version 509, descend 3000 feet, descend down 3000 feet, QNH is for Milano, is 9097. Still, yeah, it's uh, quite a good little addition actually, this takeoff page. Um, hello, Easy101 and Radio Cat. Easy101, 325 by 5. Um, Easy101, request IFR clearance to get Whitman and get with flight level 370 with um, Meta. Easy101. Master Joe, uh, uh, it's FS2 Cruise Pushback Express. Um, it is very good actually. Runway 04 right. Climb via SID, flight level 70, school 5407. Do it, cabin secure. Um, no. Um, easy one zero one. Sorry, it's easy one zero one. I thought I got the um, call sign wrong. Easy one zero one clear to um, pretty sure Gatwick we need to go this by way. By a planned route, um, zero four right. Climb via set to flight down seven lights, zero. Lights, lights. And please repeat the squawk code again. There we'll go. Easy one zero one. That's called five four zero seven. Oh, oh Master Joe, that's the Luke Air tool. It's really good. Is, um, Free to download on flightsim.to. Repeat the departure route, please. Easy 101, stand by on that. Speedboat 579, uh, runway 04, right, clear the takeoff, departure, uh, uh, wind 070 degrees 159. Clear for takeoff, 04 right, uh, speedboat 579. Odd, because this is a closed taxiway according to this. Along, uh, the taxiway holding point Bravo zero four eight. I love how the uh, the actual the maps and stuff on the Navigraph data are completely different to what they should be. And easy one zero one. That was the Roke of five Lima departure. Um, Roke of five Lima departure. Um, easy one zero one. Virgin five zero nine. Every uh, sorry. Report when you're ready to make your right turn. Wow, who was? Where did he come from? Easy eight zero seven zero. Thanks for letting me know. Speed boat five seven nine. A hold position. Yeah, Roger. Uh, visual with the traffic that's just appeared in front. Uh, visual to be bird five seven nine. A hold position. Brilliant. That's odd. Don't do that on VATSIM. Just connected and landed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty good. There is a free version on flightsim.to um, called, <laughs> called Pushback Helper. Easy 101 request pushback. Easy 101 push and start approved face west. Push back approved, face west, easy on zero. Hello. Uh, speedbird 225, ready to copy taxi. Speedbird 225, taxi, Quebec, Mike, uh, 
Sierra across zero four left, Bravo holding point zero four right. Twelve left, please, Bravo for runway zero four right, so Quebec, Mike Sierra across zero four left. And Speedbird five seven nine with the vacating traffic from zero four right. Uh, Cliff take off for them one. Cliff take off, Speedbird five seven nine. John, only uh, some when I've uh, when I've got a day off, basically. Uh, I checked before I streamed. I've um, I've got all the multiplayer stuff switched on. Uh, switched off, I mean. That's interesting. Why is it not giving me a flex? It's giving us MCT instead. Oh uh, well. Crosswind to play with. You're up. Water park one arm. Regis, yeah, yes, um, with uh, some model matching tools and things to help us so we can see all of that. Uh, Virgin 509, thank you. Turn right, uh, heading at. 320 degrees, clean out of the bridge to 350. Degrees, clear the ILS, 350, and search for 509. Speedbird 579 is airborne, passing 2000. Speedbird 579 are identified, climb flight level 360. Climb flight level 360, Speedbird 579. And Speedbird. 5790, turn left, track direct, broke Turn left and track direct, broke it, uh, speed 5790. Uh, That's good. It actually did hold the lever climb until 3000, which is what I was going to test and look out for. Let's go flaps to zero. Disarm the ground spoilers. Let's have a little look out the window, shall we? Seems we're getting a uh, turn back on ourselves. Easy 101 request taxi. Easy 101 taxi. Follow the uh, British Airways uh, ahead of you and uh, hold short. Bravo 04 right. Um, following the Speedbird in front of me and the holding at Bravo. Easy one zero one. Gunner control tower LL three eight one with the flight level three eight zero. Great scenery down below. LL three eight one Milano control hello. Uh, Scott one five. Sorry, I've got you already. Uh, Clear Texas to Echo arrival. So it sounds like the controller was able to see the aeroplane that spawned in and just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, There's Venice down in the distance. Graham this just rolling now that he's jet flying. So we've been given a shortcut. We would have been going right, heading all out that way to the bay and back round. We've given us quite a nice little shortcut today. For the departure. Galileo 445, descent level 300. And from Serrano, track direct to Bayella, Bravo Lima Alpha. Bravo Lima Alpha direct and descend 300 Galileo 445, thank you. Uh, up we go. I'm just going to go direct Rokip again because. Uh, what the sim does is do a little bit of a weird behaviour where from the moment you select it, it sets a solid line, whereas really the line should be dynamics up to the moment you hit direct. But there we go, we're looking good. And no bugs today so far on all these direct twos already. And uh, naturally as well, with the takeoff perf page, uh, now we've departed, we can't go back. We're in the climb phase. Uh, once we've finished climb, it will go into cruise, this page will go as well, so we won't be able to access that either. 
Um, let's see. So I broke it. I'm just going to quickly go on to GitHub and amend my report just to suggest that um, we got MCT on departure. Right, Easy one zero one holding Bravo. Easy one zero one behind. See the there goes uh, that updated report. So over ten thousand. Running up from what? Standard Easy pressure one one. lights off. Uh, we can get rid of the wing lighting for now as well. Don't really need that. looking pretty good and uh, what I might do is I might switch to MSFS live weather as well because that's uh, wow that hit in pretty quick more often than not that seems pretty accurate these days We're looking to do some streams over next weekend as well, of course, and in the between that, I'll have a load of tutorials for loads of difficult landings going live as well, so be sure to keep an eye out on the channel for all of those. Galileo 445, descend, flight level 150, three level at Bravo. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, I've currently got a, a poll open on the members only lounge within Discord for them to decide where, uh, what routes we're going to be doing. Advance 4 and Bravo, proceeding direct to a uh, Hilo Papa Tango BOR, uh, flight level 342. Uh, France 4 and Bravo, just say again the uh, BOR. Kempton, Hilo Papa Tango BOR. Jacob's good question. So, if those of you watching have ever heard of Rex, to, uh, um, I use a free version of Rex called Unreal Weather, and it pulls the metar in from the ground and feeds it into the weather engine in the sim, which is really cool. If you want to run on runway. But to be fair, um, the MSFS live weather is really bang on. The in sim generic, like the default weather engine, is really good. So I highly recommend that now. It used to be quite inaccurate, but they've got winds aloft nailed really well, and uh, the weather system seems to be very accurate as well. So um, things like Rex, I just uh, I wouldn't pay for it anymore. There's there's no need for it. Um, even Unreal Easy Weather, one one lined up with which I always request, uh, always used. Easy one zero one. I'm aware of that uh, whole position at the time. Um, I always used to use Unreal Weather. Roger that. Easy one zero one. Um, but now I just use the live weather. Wesley, uh, Easy one zero one. Just as a heads up, uh, they know you've you've lined up on the runway. You just got to wait for clearance. They'll see you on the radar screen. Jacob, good afternoon. Very well, thank you, and uh, thanks for your ongoing support as a channel member. Uh, Kevin's asking if I ever get frame rate issues with um, frames dropping after a while. No, uh, I don't actually, bizarrely. Um, sometimes I do. If I'm using things like Volanta, I find that if I if I bring Volanta up. Then I uh, get quite a hit of frames, which is not great. 
and a few other add-ons. I stopped using Sim Toolkit Pro for that reason because I find I found it was absolutely draining Agent performance. Three, uh, it was gobbling up the cash. Dark Knight, thank you very much. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the stream uh, today, please do give us a like, as uh, Dark Knight three, mentioned yeah, Milano, just in the live chat there. Control, hello, maintain, plot, three, five, zero. <laughs> thank you very much. Let's close Pushback Express. I used to be quite a big fan of Pushback Express, um, and it used to be fairly well advanced Milano in control. comparison. Good afternoon, Ryana. Uh, um, five, eight, three, as a lot of you know, I you always prefer free versions. One, eight, zero. And there's a free version called Pushback Helper on FlightSim.io that pretty much does the exact same thing. Uh, it can control right, all the ground yeah, equipment too. So uh, I really recommend Medina, checking that out instead of instead of Roman paying for a add-on. Give it a look. I'm not sure if you've got any photogrammetry. If you've got any photogrammetry right, add-ons yeah, or anything, they absolutely kill performance in the sim. So uh, if you've got any right. photogrammetry, Google uh, Maps stuff, Roger, um, arrival on, then uh, runway maybe two eight uh, via Odina to Tango Ryanair five eight three four. Let's check out this call cool livery again. It's pretty special. This is on flightsim.to as well. It's really cool. There's quite a few actually available. So if you don't want that livery, you want a couple. Of, there's um, there's two or three that the guys created so far. That's right, really quite cool. Land radar, good afternoon. Moonraker, two zero nine X three. Ridges, good out question. Out climbing now, flight level. Uh, Not yet. Sorry, at flight level one seven zero, climbing for three zero zero. Ever say three nineteen. So currently. Um, if we were uh, going to hold, uh, we would have to do it manually. We'd have to look at the charts, get an example of uh, headings and things, and we'd have to then time with a chrono one minute, fly the hold as, uh, as I did. sorry, we'll be out of carpet for one minute. EV101 cleared for takeoff, just um, stand by. Yorkshire Pudge, yeah, I think the uh, Voyager A330 looks awesome well, in the radar, Union flag paint. Wow, look at that. Virgin 509, Taxi, Whiskey, Romeo, Yankee to the Bay of Choice. Whiskey, Romeo, Yankee to the Bay of Choice, uh, Virgin 509. That looks awesome. We're going to check out the uh, latest Gatwick as well, so you guys know I've um, visited Gatwick quite quite a lot over the time over the last few months. Right on Earth 5834, request clearance to defend uh, 100. And uh, we're right going to be having covered it a lot. Um, the guy's actually gone ahead and he's decided now to rebuild the entire Defending 110, right on Earth 5834. Uh, Gatwick Airport from scratch again to make it even more optimised. Um, in the sim, which is awesome. One zero one back at cockpit taking off. One zero one thing. So, um, effectively, we're going to check that out. See what progress he's done so far there. Uh, somebody asked as well if I could fly the Arnav. Um, I'll probably look to do it over a few weeks, but um, the guy that created it emailed me a little while ago asking if I could test the ILS specifically into Gatwick with this latest beta version that he's made so I've, uh, I'm going to do that for him to see it, see if it works properly basically. Stephen yeah, you'll have to um, send me a list. Uh, your flight earlier that you got on my Discord server looks incredibly good and it looked like a right difficult one as well. Jacob, nice. It's good. Uh, good system. Oh, Columbia. Clum yeah, Columbia is lovely. Heavy here at Milano Airport at cargo stand seven one two. I'd love to do Juliet request IFR as trial to Hong Kong. Both both in tourist sort of speak like real life, uh, and also. Um, eight, uh, Milano control hello clear to Hong Kong via the Sereno Sereno five hotel departure. I'd love to do uh, Costa Rica three, five, and stuff in the right. sim as well. Initial climb, flight level 70, book 541. Everything looks so realistic, doesn't it? 
Cat, it's it's very heavy. I am cleared to Hong Kong as filed on the SRN five hotel spec seven zero squawk five four one four. Cafe six eight three back. Yeah, I was having a little look right, earlier on Facebook. One zero one confirmed for Kim May Charlie. Um, um easy one zero one. Um, uh, let me check. Easy one zero one negative turning on what more Charlie right now? Uh, I see now. Easy one zero one identified. Climb flight level three seven zero. What was I saying? I was just listening Climb to. Climb flight level three seven zero. Easy one zero one. So um. Hello, uh, three eight one. Say again. If it wasn't about. And I'll create one request direct Mike Charlie 7615. LL381. Mind blank. Anyway, uh, hopefully we're going to get um, some good working flight plan manager and stuff in the future. That would be quite good. A bit of turbulence building in here. Which is quite good. And LL381, you can descend now, flight level. Uh, actually, descend now, flight level. Let me start again. Descent now at 3,000 feet. 25 degrees in Columbia at the moment, nine flight level 200, clouds are scattered low on the no ground. Problem. That's, that's 3, nice. 9, Sounds quite good. Three birds, five, seven, nine, I'm from Suxon, leave my airspace on the Unicorn 122 decimal 8. Monitor Unicorn 122 decimal 8, so thank you for your services. Speedbird 579, bye. Out. So I'm going to test this new um, broken off comms unit. So I'm on VHF2. Let's go to LIMC121625, which is the Milano ATIS. We might be too far for it to be fair, but. Mason Juliet. Oh, wow. This is Limp Information Juliet. So we've programmed it into At VHF2. Expect ILS approach Stand by, and then we've added there, left. so we could have four frequencies. Departure runway 35 right. Transition level 75. If I wanted to go back to Unicom, variable. select VHF1 there. Cab OK. Temperature 1-1. 2.5 QNH 997. Love nope. it. So now over that side, Comms 2 sort of bit for the first officer. I'm going to be dealing with. Um, I'll put all the ATIS information, the voice ATIS, into there. And then for this one, I can use um, proper money, um, the actual ATC. I wonder if this works as well. If I go to VHF 1, so the standby instrument um, frequency there on VHF 1, I could have a third standby frequency added in. So I could have, for example, um, Falls on London Centre on the way in, and the next one would be Gatwick Director, and then Gatwick Tower. I could go ahead and put Gatwick Director into the standby over there, and add Gatwick Tower onto that standby box, and then just snap that over to force it into the left-hand side. That's very cool. And of course, as well, we can switch that one off now if we want to, as well. Some great little uh, features there for the A32NX. Zero degrees in Massachusetts. Nice. And of course, uh, the Super Bowl is coming soon, although unfortunately, or sadly, the Patriots aren't in it this year. Not for the want of trying, though, they gave it a good run. In fact, that is this weekend coming, I think, or the weekend after. We've got the Super Bowl, which I'll be watching. Although it'll be 2 o'clock in the morning, UK time. But all worth it.
Hello Ross, how you doing? How's the kid? Surprise. <laughs> Pilot, right, you're supporting the tap of the Buccaneers then. Is that just because Brady's uh, gone over or... I was quite sad to see Brady leave the Patriots if I'm honest. Jason, good question. Uh, Rakeem, thank you there. Yeah, the ETA guys should be at the top of your screen on the overlay. Um, so let's have, let me have a little look. Uh, 14.56 Zulu. So about one hour, nine minutes. And uh, 490 miles to go. Uh, so Jason, where are we flying at the moment? He's asking. And I can show you Navigraph so you guys can see exactly where we are. Let's come out of the ground charts. Uh, there we go. So we've just come out of Milano airspace at Suksun which is here. And if I scroll on in, this is what makes Navigraph quite good as well. You can see there that we're now in Swiss airspace. So we're pretty much flying over the Alps and everything else on the way over. And then our routing will take us over France. What's LFSX? Probably a small airport. Lissy and then Kisax. So for those of you who fly into Gatwick regularly on the network, you know Kisax is one of the breaking points out of France. And then uh, halfway over the channel, just before Kunav, tuning on to London Centre as well. Hopefully they're online. And uh, we'll be well into our descent by that point. Expecting the Kunav 1 Golf arrival into Gatwick, and as we know as well, that's quite a steep one because at Timber, which is around here somewhere. We need to be at 7,000 feet, so a uh, very short distance and a lot of altitude to lose for that one. But it's a good arrival route, uh, a couple of holds as well if it's busy. Pilot, that's a good reason I guess. Um, I'd, I'd support San Diego as well, uh, if, they, well, if the Chargers were still San Diego of course, I would have... Uh, Probably have some uh, some San Diego Chargers kit, but they moved to LA as well. Don't quite know why they need two teams in LA, to be honest. There's the Alps out there. Let's get the uh, window view, shall we? John, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. That's uh, that's good to hear. Uh, let me get rid of Navigraph because I keep forgetting. I'm always showing you guys it and then I completely forget to switch it off <laughs> as I did the other day. <laughs> uh, but Navigraph is very, very useful to be fair. I I spent a lot of time just dealing with um, chartfox.org instead, which is, a, which is a free version. And for those of you on Discord as well, on my server, there's a Metars Charts ch channel um, and you guys can actually get loads of free Jepson charts via that as well, which help you with the navigation. But Navigraph is a pretty good bit of kit, to be honest. I do like it. John's got a cat called Diego. <laughs> San Diego, if you've never been, is an absolutely incredible part of uh, America. Really, really nice part. Probably my, one of my favourite all-time places in the USA, to be honest. The States. And Boston, my second favourite. Uh, but if you, if you ever go to San Diego, then I highly recommend visiting the USS Midway, which is an aircraft carrier that sent the docks. It's basically a, a floating museum now. A load of aircraft on top as well, sort of old fire, fire aircraft and things. And then over the bay, you've got um, Mission Bay, with the largest naval air base, I think, in America. Or the, is it the, might be the largest naval station in the, in the States. So you get a lot of the aircraft carriers, the USS Nimitz and things, sailing through the bay as well, which is incredible to watch. So San Diego is fantastic. And of course, the real-life Topkin Bar as well. Pilot Paul got his PPL at Naples Air Centre in Florida. So it went to Raymond James Stadium. That's, too That's nice. That's a great way to celebrate. I um, When I was going through my bits of PPL, before the money 
got a bit tight. I was um, considering going over to Florida to continue it all on to get frozen ATPL and things. LaGuardia is great, Jason. Uh, LaGuardia, well, LaGuardia actually, um, for those of you who didn't catch it, a few weeks ago we did the Boston to LaGuardia flights during a uh, 24 hours VATSIM coverage for LaGuardia and that was great. We did the River Visual Ex uh, River, what's it called? No, the Expressway Visual Runway 33 I think it was. So fully visual manual fl um, approach and landing. But that was great. One of my favourite approaches in the sim so far actually today. And for another good approach, Washington DCA, Reagan National. That's a great one. While we're flying, if you guys have got any questions about the A320, do let me know, and I'll try my best to answer them as best as I can. If you guys want me to show any uh, any features or anything like that, then uh, just let me know. Uh, things like the printer and stuff, if you guys have not seen that yet, that would be good. Roger's asking, how does the Navigraph compare with resident nav data in MSFS? Yeah, the Navigraph nav data that you can install when you sign up to it, is it just doesn't work properly for me at all in the sim. So, um, I've actually deleted it for today's flight, and oddly enough, we've had no bugs with the MCDU. Uh, for those of you who didn't see yesterday, uh, I downloaded the Navigraph nav data into the sim before the stream. Um, which is part of this ultimate package you, you purchase through them in addition to all the charts and things and uh, every time I got a direct 2 by ATC I ended up getting about 10 to 12 waypoints wiped off my MCD ahead of it so it really mucked up Jason ask a great question uh, let me get the link on my channel um, I did a tutorial on it the other day to show you exactly how to get your own stamp on the plane uh, but what I will say is uh, w with regards to that um, you need to update every time you update the A32NX you need to put the texture file back in again so back it up and um, like on another file on your computer and then just copy and paste it back into the texture file every time you update uh, because with the, the development version updates pretty much most of the time Dan, nice. Just flew directly over. Awesome. On Vatsim as well? Have a new review? Um, no, unfortunately not. You have to be on Vatsim to be able to see us today. And uh, so all the aircraft that we can see behind us are all on the Vatsim network. Rish, hello, uh, I was getting around to it, sorry, I was just sorting out a little bit of admin and stuff. So, um, this is part of the latest dev version. Let's get the seatbelt signs on, shall we? Bump it about. Um, it's part of the latest development version, so it doesn't work yet, as you can see the screen is off. But uh, over the next few weeks, they'll be working to implement all of the um, features into the electronic flight bag. And what we'll end up doing is testing all of that on some streams. Hopefully next weekend I'll be able to bring you guys uh, some fresh tests, including the EFB, so you'll have all of that working. And As a QA tester for the fly-by-wire team, um, I have to basically try and break it, um, and I tend to try and do that on streams, which is quite good. Uh, Evil Ducky, so Navigraph here, you can, you can subscribe every couple of months to get the um, to get the latest air rack for Simbrief, but that's it. Um, you can't get the latest charts, unfortunately, uh, because the chart app that you use with it um, relies on you having a live subscription. So um, that that doesn't quite work, unless you print screen everything, of course. What I will say, though, for anybody looking to get Navigraph is, if you can afford it, try not to do the monthly option. Try and get it as a yearly subscription, so you pay for the whole 12 months up front because you save uh, a little bit of money. There's a, like a lake through there in the mountains, that looks pretty good. It's Lively, hello, welcome back. Nice to see you tuning in again. Hope you're well. Uh, Rakeem's wanting a geography lesson. Yeah, 
<laughs> so we're over Switzerland at the moment, Rakeem. And uh, just passing into Zurich, um, sort of SIR, uh, FIR. Zurich uh, um, is actually on our right hand side in about two or three minutes. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to see it though, but. Delta 124 is now on short final runway 14. Zurich is uh, over there somewhere on our 1, 2 o'clock. I uh, can't quite see it through the window. But fun fact about Zurich, it's not the capital of Switzerland, but it's Switzerland's largest city. Uh, Zurich traffic, uh, Eurowings, uh, all zero Sierra is crossing one way at 10. And I'm trying to find a. <laughs> I've just Googled fun facts about Zurich, and uh, there's nothing really that amazing to be honest. <laughs> so I've, uh, I've given up looking, except for that little fun fact that I gave you. Ed uh, in Ohio, thank you very much. Uh, very warm welcome to you. Hope you're well. Pretender greetings from Zurich. Nice. Are you uh, are you down there then on Vatsim? And trying to tie it in with us, or are you uh, flying elsewhere? Wesley, you're not too too late. Um, you wouldn't have been able to depart at the same time anyway, because we're all flying the same way, so the controllers have to try and separate us on the network. And uh, stream didn't start 20 minutes late, but um, the stream started at 1 o'clock. We were going through some of the latest test stuff, which is uh, all to do with the MCDU uh, in there, which is quite cool. Weeby, hello, welcome. Oh, pretend you live there, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be looking out for your house, you're down there somewhere, through the clouds. Yeah, Jacob, yeah, some can't afford the 12 and sub, but if you want charts, then head to our Discord server, and there's a channel there called Metars Charts. Um, and you can just do a quick bot command for the airport, for example, LSZH or something, and you can uh, punch that in and it will give you the latest Jepson charts, or at least um, fairly recent Jepson charts. Uh, so that's a great way of doing it. And then if you were going to do the SIM Air app updates for SIMBRIEF, then I'd probably recommend doing one month a year, or one month every two years. So you, you do the 9.99 monthly payment, just to update an air rack during a key moment in the year. So maybe summer for at some point in the summer for example, like July. And then cancel your subscription once you've updated the air rack on Simbrief. And then keep it for the whole year. So you've got fairly recent air rack. And it's cost you nine pounds for the year. Uh, so that's probably what I'd recommend if you've got a really tight budget for the sim as well and you want to try and save cash for aircraft add-ons and things. Delta 124 making the runway 14. And that's a good way of doing it. Pretender, you're going to have to have some massive hands um, <laughs> for us to be able to see you. Um, but yeah, Zurich's down there somewhere. Let's uh, see. In fact, it's exactly there. There's uh, Zurich through there. In fact, there's Zurich Airport just about see that where the cursor is um, but I can't see a massive hand waving <laughs> but you are down there somewhere pretender I'm sure Basel Mulhouse uh, will be down there as well for about one o'clock in about ten minutes Delta 124 has now vacated the runway 1-4. It's lovely, yeah. Uh, I've ended up doing the same. I've purchased it for the whole year. I've stuck it on a credit card so I can get my air miles. And it seems to be quite a good way of doing it, actually, to be honest. Um, it saves about, I think, £10, £15 pounds a year. 
So over the lifetime of having a sim, you can save yourself a substantial amount of money if you can pay for it up front. Uh, but that's where they try and get you though, because it requires you to pay for, uh, for it up front, and you've got to be able to you've got to be able to do that in one hit. So it's unfortunate that their model is a little bit um, different charging wise. It's sad that the monthly fees are a little bit higher. Ed, no problem at all. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Glad you're enjoying the content. Jamie, um, I can try, though they're not really much different to the file that I've got on flightsim.to. Uh, I haven't really tweaked it that much. Um, I've ended up showing a, I'm not sure if you've seen it, there's a video on my channel that shows you how, to, how exactly to edit it for your own needs uh, because everybody's absolutely everybody's uh, setup is completely different so it's, it's quite difficult trying to create a VMR um, based upon liveries for the mega pack and things that change all the time um, and it's sort of dependent on what people download as well so I'm not sure if you've seen it let me know if you haven't I'll get the link and I'll put it in the live chat for you Callum good afternoon Jamie, yeah, that is one feature that would be quite a good thing to have, I think. Um, the parking stands are quite um, quite fiddly at times, aren't they? Especially for big airports with loads of stands everywhere. So it would be good if they could make that compatible with uh, the little moving blip. Josh, hello. Wesley, yes, um, a couple of minutes ago we were just talking about it all uh, and how um, in a few weeks or in a few days hopefully I'll be able to test all of that for you guys. Uh, and that will all be tested on streams as well. Uh, it's called the Electronic Flight Bags, so EFB. Jamie, I'm glad it was helpful. Um, it's quite it's quite a simple thing to do, so... Sometimes it just doesn't work, though, um, I must say. Sometimes it just doesn't want to play ball, unfortunately. Mr Smudgy, hello, welcome. I'm very well, thank you. I um, hope you're well as, as well. Hope you're doing alright. It's lovely, awesome. Thank you very much for your donation. That's very kind of you. Thanks for supporting the stream as always. Really appreciate it. What a nice rainbow taken off out of Edinburgh. Awesome. The um, it's always quite impressive, isn't it, when you see it in the sim. That's late. Keep up the good streams. Enjoying every bit. <laughs> Thank you very much. That took a little while, didn't it? Uh, yeah, rainbows in the sim are fantastic. Uh, you catch them every now and again, don't you? Especially when it's raining. It seems to pop up quite well as well. It blows my mind how they've managed to get a rainbow in. Um, how they've coded it, I don't know. Jamie said that the smaller planes like the 320s and 73s... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think for my VMR, um, the 747 liveries are very broken. And uh, because of that, the model matching doesn't really work that well, um, so it's a little confusing. And the Dreamliners as well are very hit and miss as well. A couple of updates ago, they changed some of the ways the liveries worked, and it caused more issues than anything else, um, unfortunately. So we, we have to wait for Sobo to fix that really, and the livery creators as well. Mr. Smudgy, yeah, the sim looks great. And uh, you're going to enjoy it once you've installed it, it's going to be really good. Make sure you get the latest development version for the A32NX as well. And if you want the link, I'll, um, I'll find it and I'll pop it into the live chat for you so you can save the link on your computer somewhere. Um, 
and it would be a direct link to the latest master. But um, if you stamp your plane with your name, like I've done there, let me know what you do. Uh, we just get rid of them seatbelts as well now, because that's turbulence has gone, hasn't it? I'd be a terrible real life pilot. I'd just leave everybody sat in the seats all the time. Jacob, nice. Thinking of getting the new Thrustmaster TCA pack. It looks very good, I must say. Um, the stick looks fantastic. Um, I've only ever heard problems with the throttle, though. Um, a lot of people says it looks good, but it doesn't work particularly well, uh, which is a little bizarre. Um, hopefully, that'll be fixed over time, although some real pilots that have looked at it have suggested that um, the throttle is a little bit odd in size. It's not as big as it should be compared to real life, uh, which is a bit bizarre. Cool, let me uh, let me find that for you now then, Smudgy, bear with me. Um, it's a direct link from the GitHub, so effectively if you click it, it will download the zip file for the very latest development build. Pretend to send throttle works well once you set it up. Yeah, I think you have to remap everything, I think, don't you, so it works properly. Um, which would be great once it's working, but it does take a lot of time. There you go, that's the direct link in the live chat for the very latest development version for the A32NX. Uh, so everything I'm doing at the moment is uh, a test branch of the development version and uh, the test that we've done is relating to a page that was further back uh, so I can't really show you guys now in, the, in this current stage of flight um, but once a few of us have tested it and it's passed what, we'll, what it will then do is push ahead and go into the development version which is why you guys will see the development version of it get updated about three to four times a day sometimes Yeah, the throttle does look quite small. Um, it is, it's bizarre, isn't it? Uh, but so that's the only thing putting me off at the moment. I'd love to get the stick, but if I got the stick, I'd have to get a new throttle because the uh, T-Flight Hotas X kit that I've got, the throttle and the stick are linked with a wire, so um, there's no way for me to cut the two, basically. But over time, I, I'll be definitely looking to get some other system. And this works pretty well for now, I guess. And it was only £100, to be fair. Uh, so, I'll, you know, if you can save money in one instance in the sim, then you can go ahead and buy something else quite cool. Mr. Smudgy, good question. I run the sim in full screen mode. Um, but some others prefer windowed, uh, but I like full screen. I like it to take up the entire screen completely. Um, Terry's asking a good question, what is the difference between the experimental version and the development build? Uh, so well, there's three versions actually at the moment for the fly-by-wire mod. There's the stable which is the main package that gets updated maybe every month or every two months um, and that's re referred to as the stable version but very quickly it becomes quite unstable. So. Um, I tend to not advise using that um, because the development version, the next one on, is uh, pretty much every single PR, every update that happens um, or every update that goes into the mod after it's been tested is um, it goes into the development branch and that gets updated pretty much every single day, two, three, four times a day. So it's always advancing. So if you ever use, if you guys use the development version, what I would recommend is logging on and downloading the very latest dev version of the 320 Neo before you uh, boot your sim to go flying. So if you fly every day for example I would recommend updating the dev version every day or at least every few days. But then on top of that we've then got the experimental version which is um, a completely... How, how would I describe it? It's, it's a custom version basically of the way the aircraft flies. They're changing all the flight models and they're working on redeveloping the, the autopilot completely using that experimental branch. So they offer no support with that because it's not supposed to be used. Um, 
but it's open source so everybody can download it as well of course uh, but this is the this is a fourth version this is a tester branch of the development version so it's one ahead of any release and now the difference between the experimental version and the custom um, which is the custom fly by wire mod and the development version um, is that the custom fly by wire experiment one gets updated about 12 or so hours after the development version gets updated so that's always uh, maybe basically a day behind uh, update wise uh, but the experimental version is designed to make the aircraft handle as it does in real life so there's been a lot of focus going into the physics of it the way the aircraft handles the ailerons elevators and everything else eventually the experiment will finish and once it's all good and it passes that will all get sucked into the into the development branch so um, it'll be really good Uh, Mr. Smutchy, so you, you would get the all the world updates, um, or all of the updates so far packaged by updating the sim again now, but you'll have to go into your marketplace and actually download. Uh, so if you wanted the US world update content, so uh, the, Was uh, the Washington Monument and things like that, if you wanted those fed in, then you'd have to go and download the Japan kit or the America kit from the marketplace. Because uh, that little side part of it is a, it's kind of voluntary. Yeah, Jacob, uh, I definitely recommend using the development version because you have all of the stuff in here. You'll have the uh, for those of you who didn't see as well, you notice that the comms two, well the first officer's comms box is completely broken off now from the one on the left hand side. So now we can tune loads of frequencies. And uh, we can switch between them as well. Yeah, here you go. Tab OK. Temperature 1 1. 2.4 to it. So that's quite cool. Um, so all of the very latest features that you see on my streams are all from the development version um, as well. And sometimes with a stable, you can actually wait for about two months before the stable gets updated again. And by that point, uh, this mod has got so far advanced in comparison. Um, so even if you maybe run the sim once a week, just update the development version once a week instead. And uh, as Ed was asking there, uh, you can yeah you can just quite simply switch between the two. So if you've got their of data, um, it sounds like you do, you'll be able to just click to install the development version instead, and uh, it'll overwrite the one you've got installed, and it'll put the uh, the one that's packed full of features in instead. Jamie, we can only hope, eh? I am. Um, I'm not too confident, though. <laughs> if I'm honest, I think they they talk into them, but whether it breaks anything in the next update uh, in about a week or so is uh, remains to be seen. I'd imagine it's going to smash a lot of stuff up. And there's that uh, amazing world update livery thing that the uh, VA used to have in 1997. Looks good on the little Airbus, but uh, the ones that they had on the 777s and the 747s looked quite hideous, I think. And uh, as it says in the description, Margaret Thatcher um, famously hated it as well. Um, she saw it on a model when she went to the BA head office one year and stuck a, a handkerchief over it so she didn't have to look at it. <laughs> so she really didn't look at it. Uh, she didn't like it at all. Yeah, Jacob, you could do that as well, but, um, equal one. <laughs> God, I don't even know if that's the thing you can do. I'm sure it's in the files somewhere. I guess if they've, you know, they've rendered a face of a pilot, haven't they? So I'm sure you could just go and smack your face on it instead of using Photoshop. Renewed reviews going over Hamburg at the moment. Nice, that sounds pretty good. Wesley, yes, I had it yesterday. William, hello, welcome back. Channel member and uh, moderator. One of my first subscribers as well. Welcome. Uh, Rakeen, so Squawk, that's a good question. If you were to Squawk, how does the simulator react? So on VATSIM, uh, 
if we were told to set a transponder code but then ask to squawk it'd be squawk ident or something like that. you could hit that button there basically it sends a signal from the aircraft um, it, it makes you pop up on a radar so it, it makes you stand out from all the other aeroplanes um, the same thing happens on VATSIM as well but there's also a box inside the VATSIM vPilot software um, there's a button that says ident and that does the same thing so you can click it there if they if the controller asks me to squawk 5406 or squawk ident I'd click that button and then in vPilot as well I'd click the ident button there and it pop up on their radar display um, same thing in the actual in sim ATC as well I think although I don't know how that works compared because I don't use it Wesley, what you just need to do is find a couple of the waypoints and type them in on Direct2 into the MCDU and just do one, one waypoint at a time until you can get to the next uh, waypoint that it's got in your sim. So it does break a few things. JBL yeah, last time um, they broke quite a lot of stuff, didn't they? But oddly enough, um, I was quite amazed by this. The lead developer at Sobo, I can't remember the guy's name now, um, he actually came into the Discord server for the Fly by Wire team and um, got in contact with Fly by Wire because it because it broke the mod so badly for about a week, I think, wasn't it, or ten days almost. Um, the lead developer from Asobo actually helped the Fly by Wire team create a fix for the mod, uh, which is pretty good. one. You know what? There's got to be a way. If you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator and you find it, you'll have to let me know on the, on a live chat on another stream sometime or send me a comment or something. Because um, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure that there must be a way. All it's going to be is just a, a visual file, isn't it? So if you can check, it would be the same as creating a livery on a plane, I guess. You could just create a livery on a pilot's face. Jamie, um, I'm not sure what went bad for you then, really. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure what went wrong for you. We use, I use the Simbrief integration, but you can still use the old school method of putting all the airways in one by one as well. That all still works, um, although it does take a bit longer, of course. Mr. Maji, um, so this free thing in Sim Market, uh, how to sort performance? Uh, I didn't see it. No, um, there's a lot of. Um, YouTube videos and files and things that are claiming to do all of that as well, but the latest development version of the fly-by-wire mod have actually fixed, for those of us that are limited with the coherent draw, uh, which is CPU or GPU limited, I can't remember which one it is, but they basically f made your frames better by up to 50%, which is really good. And that just comes through the development version of the A32NX currently. Wesley, where are you flying to then, if you're already in descent? Uh, you can't be that far ahead. You... Matthew, hello, uh, asking where to join us from. Um, I would probably suggest taking off from Paris. So if you spawn in at Paris Orly, and you take off for Gatwick, um, you've got about 20 minutes before we get to Paris, so that should give you enough time to spawn in, set all your flight up, and then take off, and you'll probably be just ahead of me. Um, so if that's what you wanted to do. Let's see. Or Paris Chaux de Gaulle, or Paris Orly. Paris Orly is a bit nicer, to be honest. Patrick, hello, welcome. Rakeem, no problem at all. Hope that helps. Uh, Trev, OP, Lone Wolf. Greetings from South Africa, he says. Oh, awesome. Hello, and thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I would love to do a London to Cape Town at the moment, um, but unfortunately a lot of the long call jets are very broken in the sim, so I was actually going to be looking at doing something down in South Africa over the next few weeks to go and have a look at that part of the world. Um, if you've got any short haul routes that would be great for the A320, you'd have to let me know.
Jacob, yeah, the um, the dev version, for some people, so it depends on what systems you've got, and I can't quite remember the ins and outs of this, uh, the, the, what they did, um, but the, for some people it's, it's actually increased frames per second by up to 50%, which is seriously good. Uh, so they've been working a lot about um, it, with integrations of how all these systems refresh here. Uh, RO player is asking if uh, fast sim brief um, does, does the integration allow for the new flight plans whilst the sim uh, the aircraft's flying. Cool. You know what? That's a great question. I'm not going to click it just in case it breaks everything. Um, but yeah, you know what, by the looks of it, you should be able to just put a new flight plan in and hit init data request there. And then that should wipe your init A page, and then you'd be able to pull in your uh, route again. He says. If you guys are looking for ways to support the stream, then you can make use of Super Chat, um, as Livly did a little earlier on, so thank you to him. And uh, you get your message read out by the bots live on the stream as well for doing so as well. If you put a message into it, Matthew's asking for a flight plan in the chat. Of course I can. Um, sorry, I thought I'd done it already. But thank you for reminding me. It's halfway through the flight, but uh, I'll stick that in now. Um, although I'm not sure how it's going to uh, team up for you flying from Paris. Um, But we're expecting a Kunab 1 Golf arrival into Gatwick. Jamie, uh, yes, to answer your question, I've actually started the training f to be a VATSIM ground controller at the moment and clearance delivery and things, so quite difficult. Um, in fact, very difficult because it's not only just managing the aeroplane that you're responsible for, which is me now doing my own aeroplane, doing my own thing. I've got to deal with... Uh, 10, 20, 30 aircraft. Matthew, at uh, Paris Orly, I, I suggested spawning at. And if you depart in the next 10 minutes, you should be just ahead of us. Um, or 20 minutes or so, you should be just around us anyway. So you've got about 20 minutes to take off out of Paris Orly. Um, so plenty of time to boot the sim and get a sim brief route and stuff done. Kyle, hello, welcome. Um, it's It was released in August, but it's still developing very well. Um, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and we're live on the VATSIM network, so there's a whole load of aircraft around us. Uh, very soon, actually, we're going to have... Um, oh, wow, that's busy. VATSIM is just absolutely lit up. Um, so you can see the coverage at the moment. We're halfway. Let me get a Volanta up so you guys can see what I'm on about, there we go. So there's the plane, that's where we are currently, and uh, we're doing quite well actually. There's Paris, we'll probably reach Paris in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, and then you can see all these blue boxes here are ATC on VATSIM. So VATSIM's really busy today, there's a massive amount of traffic in Madeira at the moment, that's quite cool. And uh, you can see we've got London South Centre on, who we will contact as we get closer to Kunav. We've then got Gatwick Approach, Gatwick Tower and Gatwick Ground Online. So we've got a full, uh, full ATC suite as we get closer, which is going to be really good. And uh, might actually try and use the COM2 box and stuff as well. And program all of the different frequencies in using a couple of, uh, a couple of boxes. James passed his S1 theory, yeah. Um, so I'm, I've done my OBS part 1 and I'm currently going through my OBS part 2 training at East Midlands using all their systems and learning how to clear aircraft and manage all their radar systems and things like that so it is very detailed, there's a lot to learn uh, but I'm enjoying it. Who will we contact first? It's going to be 1326 in fact, I'm going to put that in this one, one, three, two, six, um, and then we're going to be contacting Gatwick Approach, one, two, six, eight, two, five.
So we've got uh, London South Centre there, which we're, I will use. I'll just click that across and it'll force Thanks. it to the active well, box. And then I've got the standby for Gatwick Director uh, in there too, which is good. So I've actually now got um, a really efficient way of switching uh, the comms across from different ATC. Renew, uh, no you won't unfortunately. Um, so we're connected to the VATSIM network, so I'm. You, you set it up so that you're completely hidden to everybody else. You turn all your multiplayer settings off. Um, and then what you do, you connect to the VATSIM network and it feeds in all of the traffic through VATSIM instead. So all the aircraft that we'll see on the stream today, as we saw on the ground, they're all uh, connected to the VATSIM network and flying on that instead. Uh, so completely separate to multiplayer uh, and offline and things. Jamie, yeah, the ATC streams will be quite good. Um, not quite sure how they're going to work yet. I've not thought that far in advance. Um, the, this, the, um, the weird thing is their systems look very out of date. They look very archaic. So the radar, I'm going to have to work out how to look at um, fiddling between the radar and maybe trying to spawn in the sim as well uh, to stream the airport as I'm, as I'm simming. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work it. But um, it's not. It doesn't look that impressive. Their, their systems look really old school because um, it's basically just a radar screen. Paddy, hello, welcome. Uh, good question. It was asked a little earlier on, but uh, if you check the live chat, I'm just going to put the link in for you. Um, how to put your There you go, it's in the live chat. Yeah, Jacob's only difference in the setup uh, is, is the CPU or the RAM. Yeah, the Ryzen 5 3600 I don't think is much f much different to the Ryzen 3600X that I've got, to be fair. Carl's waiting for his Xbox um, playing game, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Nice, you're, you're waiting for the Xbox release then. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they actually manage to fix all that into the uh, into the sim uh, and how it will all work with Xbox. I'll replay, yeah, the clouds look fantastic. Um, I've actually got the clouds set to high because I found that if I had it on ultra you get um, like edge pixels around the clouds where it's trying to make them too sharp so I've actually dropped them to high which a lot of people seem to recommend uh, and I definitely recommend uh, so if you've got your cloud settings on ultra try and stick them on high and just have a little look to see what you uh, see what you think see if that makes a difference for you Jacob's on holiday from the work on the, on the 6th Awesome, yeah. Join me anytime if I've got a stream scheduled, of course. Very welcome. To join us for that. Matthew, um, I won't be able to fly back today, I'm afraid. I'm sh quite short on time, but um, much, well, definitely enough time to get to Gatwick, of course. Uh, but you've got time, you've got about five minutes to join us from Paris Orly, as I was saying before. So if you want to fly with us, you can spawn in at Paris Orly and uh, take off in the next five minutes. Peter, yeah, the um, it's a bit odd actually. I didn't expect to have any. Right, loads of people subscribing there. Didn't quite catch everybody's names. Uh, New Squad, I think, and ends W Squad. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys, for all subscribing. Frank. Bus9, uh, MBW Squad, Flight Dreams, welcome all of you to your channel. Thank you very much. Um, thanks all of you for subscribing. I actually love it. Really appreciate it. Be sure to check out the super chat functions and uh, all of all of our uh, membership options as well. If you guys want to join the channel as a member, and if you're enjoying the stream so far as well, please do click that like button down below too. That'd help me out. Uh, let me know you're, you're enjoying the streams. Pete's got the anti-ice on, but the 320NX is looking like a snowplow. 
Um, I don't seem to have uh, I don't seem to have that issue bizarrely today. Although yesterday we really got smashed with with icing, um, and annoyingly there's no way for it to melt until after you've landed. Yeah, the uh, the ground looking page is very old looking, isn't it? So um, I'm going to have to work out how to how to fit it in with streams. I might have to boot the sim up, spawn at uh, the airport that I'm going to do ground at, for example, um, and do all of that as well. So uh, there's definitely a way I'll be able to do it. It'll just take a little bit of fiddling uh, around with. As Aro's playing there, trying to set up a dual stream or something. Um, Mr. Smudge was asking what I've used for model matching. Um, so I've got my model matching file. Um, I've got the IVAO files installed as well that I've been using too, uh, with a model matching file from Mr. Mercury. But I've also got a, an experimental file by FSLTL that I um, can't really sort of talk about too much, but. Um, using that as well basically <laughs> Ed yet yeah, summer for Xbox I think you're right there and Jason was asking if flying over Germany um, we're actually heading over central uh, central France at the moment so we're over two-thirds of the way there um, but yeah we're over French airspace uh, I think as well guys the CRJ from Aerosoft is going to be released in the next two weeks as I was mentioning on the stream yesterday so I'll be looking to get that and bring some tutorials and some content for that to you guys on a live stream as well, whenever that's released. Jamie's got a good tip there about removing icing mid-flight. I'd love to be able to just permanently switch it off. It's, um, it's, there's nothing more frustrating in flight than having unrealistic icing. How are we doing flight-wise? I think that's... Um, yeah, Opal and Pireg are pretty much the edge of... French airspace there. So let's get the latest weather forecast for Gatwick. So we want the TAF. And uh, we'll pull the latest meta, that's going to help us get some bits done. And we'll get the latest um, ATIS information as well. Send all three requests off. Be sure to come find us on Discord as well if you haven't uh, already done so and you, you've got Discord. We've got a good little server there. And you get all your charts and ATIS information and stuff via that as well, one of the channels. So, TAF, that's basically the weather forecast. Let's print. So what we got here, so the forecast for Gatwick, 090 at 9 knots, all the 9s scattered at 1,500, becoming uh, broken at 1,200, temporarily 8,000 kilometres, visibility, light rain and drizzle, broken clouds at 700 feet with a 30% probability, temporarily 4,000 uh, metres visibility in heavy rain and drizzle. Broken clouds at 400 foot, probability of 30%. Do, 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 do. And uh, basically, the weather's getting really bad through the day as the day progresses, basically. That's what all of that means. And the current Met Art shows <laughs> 100 degrees at 7 knots, 8 kilometres visibility, overcast cloud at 900 foot. 3 degrees and 995 and that's good timing because I was just about to put that in and the aircraft's telling us we're getting close so uh, 995 temperature th plus 3 degrees celsius and the wind uh, 107 We need that transition altitude and we need to look at the charts as well and we also need to put in our arrival so um, 
where is it? MCDU. Let's do this properly, shall we, as if we've just requested it via the printer. ATIS for Gatwick print. Come on, we need to put the data in now. I replay it good. I'm, I'm, in, I'm glad you're enjoying it, and uh, I'm glad you're noticing that I, I try and keep it calm. It can get very, very busy when it all goes horribly wrong in the sim. Um, Jason, nice. Yeah, I think you might have just missed the chance to join us. Uh, Ele Paris Orly is there. Paris Shodigal's there, though. So if you take off in the next five, ten minutes, you might be a couple of minutes behind us. Um, but you'll have to let me know in the chat when you depart. Uh, so into the performance page. Um, what was it? Oh, actually, we need the. So what was it doing? Runway news zero eight right. So Gatwick. Arrival, ILS 08 right, Kunav 1 Golf, which is there, and we're going to go in by Timber, insert. Do, 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 information Zulu, I bet that's going to change. And QNH of 9096 HP hectopascals. Would the call buttons to the left and right radio stacks be linked? Um, they shouldn't be. Um, you should be able to independently switch across, but it's all slowly being worked. So the, currently, the actual box themselves, it's all been decoupled. One three seven one turn left, heading two close. five zero degrees, then to water two thousand feet. We've got Gatwick approach one twenty six eighty five in that box. And then we need Gatwick Tower one two four two two five. Standard easy three November Golf, we are climbing five two three zero direct to Ratlow now. Easy three November Golf, project. So that's ready. So we've got that ready, that's our next frequency, and then on the right hand side we've got our frequency in two controllers time now, thanks to that, that's really cool. Um, what was I doing? We need to look at the charts. Let's look at the charts, folks. Another graph. London uh, Skyways 229 or 8, request descent. Kunav 1 Golf. Two, two, I seem to zero. always be using this one every flight time I'm on the way in. If you can see there, going in via Kunav, we have to be at Amdut of flight level 160. And then only 14 miles later, we need to have gone from 1600 foot, 16,000 foot, down to 7,000 foot by timber. Then we route via Mayfield, and then we're going to be vectored further west to come in at 08 right. So, 117.9. London Vegas, speedbird Concorde 2, descending through 170, aiming for flight level 140 inbound Bedeck. We need that. Speedbird Concorde 2, you may be below my airspace, so call London at Bedeck 135.8. And approach. Sorry, 1358 at Bedeck, cheers. So you see, from Timber, which is there, we're going to go to Mayfield. We'll then get routed, most likely, um, towards Willow. Um, but most likely we're going to come in via timber into you Mayfield two, zero, six, four, seven, two, and then 275 two, degrees seven, two, seven, two, seven, two, to Midhurst, which is our next bit And then vectored round for approach, and there's our ILS frequency of 110.9. Line 1 5, Logan 1371. Um, and this says uh, for final approach, C21 1A. Which is that one? So you can see um, if we have a missed approach, we have to climb straight ahead until 2000 feet. And then turn right onto to heading 178 degrees, then as directed. So that's basically back towards Mayfield almost. And we're expecting a three degree, uh, three degree glide slope from 8.6 DME for the ILS. Um, at or below 3,000 foot when we intercept the glide slope. And it will probably be a Cat 3A landing. Navigation direct for 
because uh, just how the sim seems to work at the moment. So I'll stick a DH in a 50. Um, but I might put it in actually at 96. I might put it in actually. The Cat 2 ILS. And there's our runway visual landings and stuff here. So what does this say? For Cat 1 ILS, 396, RVR of 550 or 554. I'll stick it at 100 foot DH in. It's just Skyway 2298, direct, direct to Welling. Direct Welling, Skyway 2298. There we go. Echo Channel Member, hello, welcome. Ready, defense flight level 160, level by Sabre. Wesley's smashing out them ready, emojis. Defense flight level 160, level by Sabre. <laughs> And uh, Echo's finished his flight from Gatwick to Edinburgh. Uh, Echo's another channel member, of course. Thanks for supporting the stream. Two nine five four, you with Matthew's me? pushing back. Nice. Uh, so probably about a good time actually to depart. You'll be about five ten minutes behind us, probably depending on the route, of course. Jason, I'm glad all your family are enjoying it as well. Hello to all of you. Uh, Viper in the real three twenty. Oh, actually, I've already mentioned that. I've neither call buttons left and right. Uh, there's no, as Jamie's asking there, unfortunately there's no ability to hold in the experimental version yet either. Um, what we're waiting for is, um, Hello, with is for all of this to be edited with the new Seven flight plan manager. Hello, climb flight level three, five, three, five, um, and that's still a work in progress, but I'll be testing so all running, of that when it comes in before it reaches the uh, development version of course. Wesley, uh, you've done well to catch up. Union two zero six four D seven five. Felix, yes. Um, so the TAF. Well, the ATIS information currently shows ten kilometres or more visibility. Silver nine five four with you at five kilometres. Broken cloud at one thousand one hundred foot. But the actual weather forecast for today shows that through the rest of the afternoon the weather's going to become um, significantly worse, and we can get a cloud base down to four hundred foot potentially as the day goes on. So, um, could be a low vis landing, yes. Uh, Sam, hello, welcome back. Uh, Echo, no, I've not, I've not one checked the uh, freeware version actually of Edinburgh. Let me put some of these in, shall we? So, we've got that ILS frequency 110.9. We want the Mayfield VOR, which is 117.9. And we want the Midhurst VOR. American 1652, one of the Unicorn 1228.0. Unicorn one two two A American one six five two. Thank you. Eighty two three two three. One of the Unicorn one two two A. Infinite Aviation. Hello, welcome. One two two A. Eighty two three two three. Bye bye. Felix, whereabouts are you then? I'm trying to remember where you've told us you are in, in the past. Leather control. Sixty miles to Kunaf. Have a look three at one. Leather control. It's a Logan two hotel arrival. Report your indicated airspeed. I think I'm pushing this now. Go, go on, hold on. Uh, let me do a quick top descent calculator. Three three eight. Mark seven one seven eight five. Roger, maintain speed 330 knots or greater. 1500, we've got a 42 knot headwind currently. Landing control, very good afternoon, speed 542 overhead, Midhurst 4150. 542, hello, climb flight level 330. Climb flight level 330, speed 60 miles. We'll do 280 for now. 506, climb flight level 290. Um, because we're going to call up shortly at Kunav or before Kunav and under control. Center KLM 1 in state 1, flight level 220 inbound, Hypnos. KLM 1881, descent flight level 260, so the Logan 2 hotel arrival. Descent uh, flight level 260, zero, Logan 2 hotel arrival, KLM 1881. Kunav on Golf. Zoom out, just have a little look at this. Let's go to constraints. So, uh, Kunav, Amdurt, flight level 160, Timber at 7000, then Mayfield, and then Vectors around for Surrey. That looks pretty good, actually. November 5, Mark Popolo, excuse me. That'll do us. Kunav at 40. November 5, Mark Popolo, excuse me. Flight level 290, direct Ledbo. Altitude 290, direct Ledbo. Just catching up on things. <laughs> LM1881 on Ian, conversion. welcome, good afternoon, B2 channel member. Hello to you, hope you're well. Channel members on the uh, that are watching at the moment, do check out the well, club lounge in Discord. There's a poll for you guys to choose next week's routes. 
Ralph, 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 Uh, I might call him up now, actually, a little early. KLM 1881, turn right, heading 295. Turn right, turn right, turn right, KLM 1881. Good under control, hello, speedbird 579 at inbound, Keysax descending through flight level 320. 2579, hello, it's a QNF 1 Golf arrival, descent flight level 160, available by Amdut. Looking up on Golf Arrival and descent flight level 160 level land at uh, speed 579. Union 2064, descent flight level 80. 40 miles. We've got quite a way to go to be fair, so I might start to control degrees. speed a little bit as well and help us. Heading 330 degrees, Union. Infinite 30, hello, uh, very well, thank you, welcome to the channel. Eddie, uh, who have we got here? So, Keith, good morning, welcome back. Descent flight level 130, Skyway is 2298. Hello, okay, yeah, I'll have to have a little, little, little look at that then. I'm dying for some good Edinburgh freeware. We've got full ATC coverage all the way into the ground now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be really busy as well. It's a quite a steep approach this uh, start, this arrival route. Keith, good morning to you. Terry, good morning. Well, hello. How did I populate the cell cow code panel? Um, I've got, I'm not sure if this is the link actually, I'm sure it is. I hope that's the link. Um, but uh, basically I've done a little tutorial to show you how to do that and I recommend using Gimp to do it. 150 by Kidley, easy 18 Cargo Lux 3, David Bravo, Roger. 954, contact Brussels 131 decimal 1. Who have we got next? So it's really busy, so I'm really recommend being one step ahead of the game. Bravo, contact Brussels 131 decimal 1. So frequency wise, 12682. KLM 1881, turn left, heading 240 degrees. So that would be that switch. And then we've got Gallic Tower. 124, 225, that switch. Over there. Contact Brussels 131, decimal 1, so let's go, sir, thank you, thank you. So once we switch to that, where are you going? We'll go approach. Oh, I'm sorry. Then I'll program ground into that frequency. Austrian 456, report heading Brussels 131, decimal 1. And uh, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator, so let's get the icing on. So that's how it seems to happen. Roger, brake, brake, speed 8, 1, 8, one of the Unicom, 1, 2, 2, 8. Unicom, 1, 2, 2, 8. There's Amdut, so we're pushing for 1600 by Amdut. Cargo Lux 381, speed 270 and off. Let's do a quick uh, update at this top of descent calculator, shall we? 220 Bravo, speed 270 knots or greater. 270 or greater, speed for 220 Bravo. KLM 1881, resume navigation direct Logan. Okay. That's telling us we should make it. Resume navigation, uh, navigation direct Logan, KLM 1881. Lufthansa 4, Papa Mike, turn left, heading 070 degrees. Speed, speed break, heading shall we? 070 for Lufthansa 4, Papa Mike. 205, Lima Romeo, one of the Unicorn 1228. Yeah, Skyway 2298, turn right heading 315, vectoring ILS 15. Jacob, nice one, thank you. That's very kind of you. I'll be looking forward to welcoming you on board on the next stream then. Hello, Papa, Papa, Roger, it's Honolulu, one hotel. Only one hotel, uh, should be two points. Number 5 Bravo, can I get vector? Uh, the 5 Bravo, report your speed to London, 135 decimal 8. 135 decimal 8, report speed to Super 2 Bravo. KLM 1881, speed 270 knots. Yeah, we should be getting handed over to Gatwick approach shortly. Cargo Lux 381, when ready, descend flight level 1. Okay, sure, yeah, that'd be great. Saber. 
When ready, turn to right level 10 zero, level by three, but cover three eight one. Zero two seven six nine is uh, requesting heading zero zero to back track. track. Uh, Steve two seven six nine. Nine two to Dover. Aviation two nine three, climb flight level two nine zero. Two nine zero, easy eight two nine three. Can't wait, Jacob, yeah, nice one. Flight level 8, Jarrett. Flight level 8, Jarrett, can't wait, 229. 20 miles to Under. 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 Zebra 2769, resume navigation direct Hazel. VOR's on. Direct Hazel. Mayfield 53. There's Graham. Six. Somehow got really far behind. EJ 070, hello. It's a QNAV 1 Golf arrival. You know what I did forget? 7500. Hello, good evening. Thank you for your attention. And. KLM one eight eight one when ready to send flight level one six zero level by Sabre. Jamie, it's a little bit slippy, yes. Um, ready by Sabre. KLM one. It's not too bad. Two three nine nine Delta speed two seven zero knots when ready to send flight level one six zero level by Sabre. Speed two seven eight and one six zero by Sabre. But it can be quite slippery. Left hand support bar mic contact Brussels one three one. You see how busy this guy is as well. Contact Brussels one. Wonderful one. Right. EDA 293, contact Brussels 131 decimal 1. 121 decimal 1, uh, 893. Good day, EZ 101, currently flight level 270, descending 160 inbound Kuna. EZ 101, turn right heading 360 degrees. Smashing out of them emojis. Turning right 360, um, EZ 101. 2579, contact London 1358. 1358 London, speed bird 579, above. Two at 543, one at the Unicorn, 128, thanks for service, 542. Switch over to Unicorn, 128. Two Unicorn, thanks, 2762, 543. Line of control, hello, speed at 578, uh, uh, 79, correction, uh, inbound amped descending through flight level 160. That's right, I clipped on you there, take on the call sign. Speed bird 579. We have a 579 control, head out to Central Level 90, level by Timber. To Central Level 90, uh, level by Timber, speed bit 579. We have a 2 Bravo, Central Level 90, level Landborn. Central Level 90, level by Landborn. 1358, uh, we're right. now expecting Gatwick Thank you, sir. Approach Break, break. Uh, 685 there. Level one, let's get Gatwick okay, Towers two frequency one. back in. Level 8, two four 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 over there. Three two, Here we go. 1, 2, 2, 5, 2, 2, 5. 3, 4, 2, November, resume navigation direct Midhurst, contact level 1, 5, 0. Oh, navigation, direct Midhurst, contact level 1, 5, 0. Here we go, there's a 3 standby frequency. Now we can do direct begin. Now we can do direct begin to the conference. Starting to drop the speed, I forget we need a bit more speed break. Now we can do direct begin to the conference. Speed 8, 0, direct begin to the conference. Speed 2, 2, 4 with me. Roger. <laughs> Felix, yeah, not and, uh, probably something I would suggest. Um, speed break and rate of descent as well. So if you plan early enough for your descent, you should be okay. Happy days. 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 Happy We've got it at 9,000, so that seems to be okay. Let's bring that rate of descent down a little bit. We can start to bring that speed brake in. Let's make sure that speed doesn't go over 250. Cargo Lux 381 with me. With you, Cargo 381. Cargo 381, Monitor, hello, descent flight level 100, level by Lambourne. And uh, are you on speed? 
Uh, descent, uh, say again, contact straight one. Okay, cargo straight one. Descent flight number one. There's your link, Stephen. Sorry. Two, uh, descent, uh, twenty. Wow. Okay, there's a speed restriction there. Thank you. Tranex one zero, climb down, flight level one one zero. Five flight level one one zero, Tranex. Kunaf, max two fifty knots, Timbers two twenty knots. November zero one three off point. Okay, stand by, speed nine two seven seven, contact Heathrow with your speed one one nine seven two five. Good day. Director, speed one one nine seven two five seven nine two seven seven five. Bye bye, speed five seven nine, Gatwick Director one two six eight two five. Good bye. Gatwick Director one two six eight two five, speed five seven nine. Bye, thanks, bye. Speed bird three fourteen never. He's busy, busy, bless him. Great controllers on that sim. Uh, what's our latest information actually, just in case it's changed? Gawick Director, hello, Speedbird 579er inbound with uh, information Alpha inbound Timber descending flight level 110 for flight level 90. Speedbird 579. Uh, hello, Gatwick Director, landing 08 right, no delay, descent to flight level 80. Landing 08 right, uh, expect no delays, uh, descend flight level 80, speedbird 579. Good afternoon, Gatwick Director, EC295 with you, climbing through 3,500 for 6,000. Speed restrictions 220 knots, hello, uh, 225, so we'll do 220 zero. by timber. Climb flight level 80, easy to 95, thank you. Max, hi. And uh, Matthew T, we're using runway 08 right. What was the QNH? 995. So, top tip get it programmed, ready, and then as you while she's descending. Let's get all the lights on. And uh, very shortly, we'll go into that approach phase as well. Nice long runway at Gatwick, and uh, we can plan for A runway exit at Delta, so if I show you guys Navigraph. Landing on 08 right, which is the bottom one here. And I'm going to try with low sp uh, low auto brake to exit at Delta. And then we'll taxi off and head to a stand, whatever we're allocated by the tower. Or by ground. Um, Speedbird 579, leave timber heading 320 degrees. Leave Timber heading 320, Speedbird 579. So now we're getting vectored. EZ 295, contact London, good to activate that now. So we're on approach eight. phase. Contact London Control on brief 135, decimal 8. Thank you, goodbye. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Stephen. So the two up thing. Um, it's relating to your centre of gravity and things, but on the takeoff performance calculator on WAB Pro, once you put in all the data, it will be like a zero, two up or something like that, and uh, that relates to this here. Um, it should be three up. That's already quite high, but that's bizarre. Matt's yes. Um, Love flying through Norway actually in the sim, it's pretty amazing. So I'll um, I'll definitely be looking to revisit that. I've done Bergen and Tromso, I'll probably do some more of those as well. Um, unless you've got an airport specifically you'd like, let me know. I'll add it in. Let's go to manage speed and we'll drop down to that green dot. And we're on Alt Star now at 8000 as well. We're waiting to leave Timber, heading 320. In fact, let's keep it at 220 knots, shall we? There, yeah, nah. Green dot. The speed restriction there is 225, 225 knots anyway, so... Max, hello. We're just about to um, drop through the cloud. We're at 8,000 foot, and we're coming in from Timber for an approach into Gatwick. Don't forget, guys, as well, we're going to check out the very latest Gatwick beta updates from that amazing developer. He's rebuilding Gatwick from the ground up, basically. There's an aeroplane ahead. You just see his strobes where my cursor is, hopefully. Echo, that's the one. Speed 
Seabird 579, you've got four zero miles until touchdown, turn left heading 285, descend to altitude 6,000 feet, Q&H 909 and 5 hectares. Left 285 degrees, uh, 6,000 feet, Q&H 909 and 5 uh, hectopascals, Seabird 579. Cover directly, good afternoon to Speedbird 6 Alpha Lima, 2,200 feet with 4 zero. So we go. Speedbird 6 Alpha Lima, Gatwick Director, hello, fly heading um, so one, two, zero degrees, climb to altitude. The cool thing that we clicked on the overhead panel, Jacob, one, when you two, activate zero, approach two, phase, speedbird, six, alpha, lima. if you press that, you send a status thing to the cabin crew saying, crew, take your seats for landing. And then when you're making your approach, um, down here, you'll get your approach checklist in and it will say uh, cabin ready, that's what you want. Same for departure. Carlos, hello. Yes, um, the weather's great. There's an aeroplane up there. Flying the opposite direction, he's on his way out of Gatwick. Chippy Tromso is fantastic to be fair, um, but it's permanently dusk isn't it? <laughs> Bergen, there's some fantastic freeware scenery for Bergen on flightsim.to. Uh, Mats is asking to fly to Elsund. Uh, we've got 6 Alpha Lima, turn right heading 145. Turn right 145, we've got 6 Alpha Lima. Sure. We've got 579er, descend to altitude 5000 feet. Descend to 5000 feet, uh, speed of 579er. Speed of 579. Max, nice one, that's dedication. So, auto brake low. Spool is armed. Got a couple of miles, and uh, you can see there, Midhurst in 29. If I zoom out, you guys can see that's where Gatwick is. That guy there has taken off, so he's flying up and kind of towards us, he's going to be going that way. Let's get a little wing view, see the Isons coming back though, unfortunately. It's a little frustrating in the sim. Wow, Gatwick is looking real busy. There's Gatwick, all those lights that you can see flickering away down there. That's a whole ton of aeroplanes at Gatwick Airport. And uh, you can't see us, because the, ground's, uh, the cloud's so thick. Speedbird 6 Alpha Lima, route direct to Seaford, climb for flight level 80. So 5000, heading 285, we're on vectors. Done the cabin secure, approach phase is armed Speed already. Speedbird 579er, send to altitude 4000 feet. Send 4000 feet, uh, Speedbird 579. So basically, what the controller is doing at the moment is stepping us down. Uh, as we're flying this sort of downwind leg, if you like, getting vectored to 08 right, he's stepping us down so that we meet the ILS localizer around here at about 3,000 feet, but he might drop us down to 2,500. All stations, all stations, New Gatwick, QNH, 909 and 4 hectares. So that means we have to update that and update your standby instrument as well, folks, if you're going to do that. So I'll just drop that down to 2,994 uh, as well. Uh, yeah, the the icing, um, it's kind of good, but it's veg it's very very exaggerated in in how it all works, sadly. So it's not the best. Hopefully, a sobo um, find a way to fix it over time. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please do give us a little like down below as well. Um, really appreciate it. You can see how over there, every one of those lights is an aeroplane at Gatwick Airport. So it's right. really busy. Tons of aircraft flying in as well. Gawick is the, one six, uniform Gawick director, has low Gawick is the king of that sim. It's like one of the busiest in the entire three, network. Easy 807, turn right heading 285, speed 220. What's going on with our speed? Come on, there we go. Auto thrust is a bit slow to kick in. We're watching you. We should be capturing. Speedbird 6 Alpha Lima, contact London Control, frequency 135 decimal eight. Okay, good, yeah, it's kicking in again. Oh, London, uh, 1358. It shouldn't allow itself to drop below the green dot. And 
until I select flaps one. Easy 8070, descend to altitude 5000 feet, QNH 9904 hectare. Which I've selected now. There's a plane behind us. I think that's Graham. Speed bit 579, descend to altitude 3000 feet. Speed 220 knots or greater. Send 3000 feet and speed 220 knots or greater. Speed bit 579. Easy 101, um, speed 255. So I'm going to have to get rid of those flaps one. Easy 101, Gavik Director. Hello, landing 08 right, no delay. Turn left, heading 275. Left heading 275. Jamie, yeah, the anti ice doesn't do very much. Um, or if it does, it. Um, yeah. If the icing comes in, it, annoyingly, it does too, the icing does too much. It affects the aircraft way too much. So I've, decided, I've actually disabled that. Renew reviews, sir. Uh, flight level Welcome, nine yeah, zero. just arrived, fairly busy, it's very busy actually. Flight level 9010. This is going to be a fast approach for us, we're going to have to configure very quickly through this approach, I think, if we keep into 220 knots. Next frequency was Gatwick Tower, 124225, and that's on the first officer's box, so that'll be that switch. And then Gatwick Ground 1218, we can get that one ready here. Gatwick, good afternoon, speed bit 225 to the Kelmer. So that's all the frequencies we're going to need. Let's turn this down a little bit as well. There's the ground down there. Speed 225, just confirm your current rating, are you going direct timber? Uh, yeah, we're checking over that call. That's amazing. The way World delivery from B8. Uh, Speedbird 225, Roger. In that case, you can turn right heading 350 degrees. Roger heading 350 degrees. Speedbird 275. Speedbird 579, speed 180 knots. Speed 180 knots, uh, speedbird 579. Easy 8070, descend to altitude 4000 feet. Oh, no, you don't. Silly plane. Speedbird 116, form climb to flight level 80. I'm flight level 8, sir, it's been one of the Speedbird 579, turn right heading 345. Right, 345 for Speedbird 579. So he's uh, slowing us down now to make this um, ILS intercept and the approach, really. Let's get a final cabin view, shall we, guys? There's Gatwick off in the distance. 101, speed 220 knots. Speed 220, easy 10. Speedbird 579, continue the right turn, heading 040 degrees, cleared ILS approach from 08 right. Continue the turn 040 degrees, cleared ILS uh, 08 right, speedbird 579. Easy 101, what is the turning? Speedbird 9904 hectopascals, but you should still be on standard pressure. Easy 101, 9904. Actually, I'm not sure, he's um, been redesigning the whole thing really, so uh, lots of detail been put in. Let's go flaps two. Can't go any any more than flaps two at the moment. Speedbird five seven nine at descent of altitude two thousand feet further on the glide. Descend two thousand feet and uh, further with the glide. Speedbird five seven nine. Arm lock mode. Easy eight zero three zero descent of altitude three thousand feet. So it's giving us a bit of a shortcut here, guys, so you can see we're actually below the glide slope slightly, and there's the runway. One, turn right, heading 285, descent to altitude, uh, correction, descent to altitude 6,000 feet, Q&H, 99. Come approach phase. I'm easy, 1,012, 285, descent 6,000, Q&H, 99. This is where we're going to get that sim bug now, where the ILS doesn't line up properly. Let's go gear down because we're only six miles, seven miles. Uniform contact, London Control 135, decimal 8 for the climb. Go back. 1358, speed 169. Speed 579 established. Speed 579, speed 160 until 4, contact the tower, call sign only 124, decimal 225. Good day. 160 until 4, contact tower 124, thank you, bye. Speed 579. Easy. Uh, easy 152 kilo, Golf Romeo is the rapid exit for 26 left. Golf 1 is a straight ahead. It's lined up Got nicely. Gatwick Tower, speedbird 579er. 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 Gatwick Tower, speedbird 579
5799, Galaxy Air, hello, continue approach from 08 right. Continue approach, speed with 5799. Easy 152 Kilo, from 08 right, step has been 090 degrees, next off, clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff from 08 uh, right. Interestingly, we've lost the glide slope, so I've just had to refresh that. Sorry, 541. Now we're chasing. 541, Galaxy Air, hello, hold Golf 1. Hold Golf 1, easy 541. Coming in hot. We haven't got a choice though, because so just the way. Yeah, the easy 993, uh, Juliet 4, ready to go from way 8 right. Easy 993, Derek Carr, hello, hold Juliet right 1. Help. Max, yeah, it's a great sim. Juliet 1, easy 993. So it gave us a speed limit of 160 until 4 DME, so now I've, I'm using speed brake to help really slow our descent down to our approach altitude, now we're at 2-3 miles, so now we close the speed brake, rearm the spoilers as well for landing of course. Uh, Jamie here, yeah, thank you for answering that question. Autopilot off. Uh, you see 541, I think I've just uh, gone onto the Fox from Ramey by accident, is that alright? So I have I'm control, flying, flying it in. Uh, question, speed bird 579 from wing 08 right, that's a sim 090 degrees 6 knots, clear to land. Clear land 08 right, speed bird 579. Easy 993 behind the uh, correction landing. Come correction the British Airways A320 near. Line up from my 08 right behind. Behind the incoming is the 08 right up and wait easy 993. Easy 152 kilo contact Garrick Director 126 decimal 825. This scenery guys uh, is all free to download on flightsim.to and it is amazing. Hello, continue approach from way 08 right. I'm gonna try and brake to come off here if I can. It's a rapid exit taxiway, so that's all good. Easy 993, runway 08 right, step a sim 090 degrees, 6 knots, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 8 right, easy 993. Speed bird 579 is vacated at uh, Delta Hot Delta 1. Speed bird 579, contact, get with ground now, 121 decimal 8, bye. Ground 121 decimal 8, thank you for your services, speed bird 579, bye. Space West. We'll start with Space West, Turkish 1998. Gamma ground, hello, speed bird 579, are holding at Delta 1, request taxi to gates. So you're at 5790 Gatwick Ground, hello, do you have a stand of preference? Uh, no negative. Speed road 5790, Roger, taxi, Alpha November, Papa, stand 52. Taxi, uh, Alpha November, Papa, stand 52, speed road 5790. Max, uh, thank you for tuning in, see you later. And uh, Ed, thank you very much, Stephen, thank you. Taxi Alpha November, which is this weird one here, so it's kind of like part of the runway, um, of the decommissioned runway, which is only used as a taxiway really. So this is Alpha November, and it's stand 5-2, uh, which is awesome actually, because we're going to get to taxi around part of the runway, um, part of the airport somewhat. So down to Alpha November, and then left Papa, which is going to take us up that way. William, no problem at all. Gowick's busy as always. You can see the Boeing facility down there in Virgin Atlantic 2. 
Keep up the great content and congrats on 2K from the other day. Maca Simulations, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Love all your scenery as well. King of uh, airport scenery in the UK. And yes, those of you who don't know, Maco Simulations is uh, the creator of um, the amazing Alpine Manchester and Birmingham. Taxi, uh, There's some yeah, bespoke taxi stand taxi. signs and stuff there from the Gatwick Beta. And he's building some of the warehouses and this. things down the bottom too. Taxi, Juliet, hold short of taxiway, Papa. Lazy Pilot, hello, thanks. Ginger Orange, thank you very much. Uh, John, uh, this is Papa the beta Juliet, version Oscar, for Gatwick Papa. Airport. Airplane 8 one YMKVY. Uh, yeah. So, um, it's available to download currently. He's basically rebuilt it all from scratch and he's built all these um, bespoke Juliet, stands. So we're turning on to Papa now. And uh, I love this uh, this old 97 livery um, as well. Let's get back into the flight deck, shall we? Let's turn this VOR stuff off as well. APU's available on the ECAM. There's all the remote stands as well. Easy. 070 Gav Grand Hello Taxi Alpha November Papa Hold Short Taxiway Julia. There's the South Terminal. Alpha November Papa Hold Short Julia. And uh, it sounds like Graham's just landed as well. And expect cool. stand 104. Yorkshire Bird, no problem. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's stream. If you guys have enjoyed it, please do make sure you click that like button as well. And Jacob, yeah. Check out the videos uh, I've done on the Birmingham Airport. Sorry, and, uh, there's a direct link there for you to click, and it'll take you straight to that product page. Uh, easy. So do click zero that use that link. Zero. Taxi onto Romeo, not Alpha November. So, uh, taxi straight up on Romeo. Take a 52. right on Nima. Take stand five. Correction one one three. And there's the amazing North Terminal Air Bridge that we all love as well. AP bleeds on. Let's turn the lights Alpine off. Alpine 8190, taxi Juliet to Hornsby. I'll park up on stands and uh, get the ground equipment running for the end of the flight. And then uh, I'll show you guys the beta version. Taxi, yeah, so Juliet, uh, uh, the ground uh, textures and stuff as well. Quite cool. Alpine 8190. Lufthansa 146, Gatwick ground. Hello, stand 15, push and start approved. Push and start There's a little marker there for an A320 look. Let's see if I can get the nose on it. Turkish one nine nine eight taxi um, straight Roughly. ahead and hold short of taxiway Papa. Uh, straight ahead, hold short Papa. Turkish one nine nine eight. You've got the fast signs and things there too. One thing that is really cool is uh, don't forget Gatwick have got the oh, horrible logbook thing that they does. It's got that parking system there, which is basically a clever selection of lights. And you keep moving forwards until the top bits have gone, and you just have the red bar fully. Um, although this one's not quite. Six eight eight alpha contact tower one two four three two three twenties in furnace. It's for a bigger aircraft, fifty fifty two middle. Beacon off. Seatbelt yeah, size. Wow, how far away was the drone? <laughs> <laughs> Easy 2-9 Tango, Gamma Ground, hello, stand 130, push there we and start are. approved. Push start approved, and Tango. And uh, we need to use Pushback Express. This is what makes VATSIM absolutely incredible. Um, as well, let's spawn. The ground equipment. Let's get the catering truck moving. Get all that the dirty yeah, dishes off. Ground, uh, Welling seven eight two one. Uh, would you uh, gate two seven request push and start? Jacob, great question. So Navigraph seven, seven eight two one. Gather ground. Hello, stand two seven. Push start. Proof face west. One of the pages is a maps thing with uh, stands. Seven eight two one. Push and start. Proof facing west. So you can see we did Alpha uh, November. Turkish one nine 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 eight. On to Papa. Taxi Lima Romeo hold short taxiway Julia. Get straight up into fifty two, which Lima, is there. Romeo, hold so really good to use. Air Berlin two one two seven after for passing Alpine. Correction easy jet T three twenty one from left to right. 
It's lovely. Yeah, thank you yeah, again for your yeah, super yeah, chat. Yeah, really well. enjoyed. Uh, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the stream. After the passing, teacher, Felix, uh, thank you very much. Take you to it for every two and seven. Um, just, um, just Gatwick has that currently. Um, no problem, more of an experiment right. than anything else. And don't forget as well, Gatwick Airport's got the cool little monorail that goes between the two terminals. I wonder if we can catch it. Got the blast barriers and stuff as well. There's the south terminal. There's a Finnair A350. Taxi, Lovely. Lima, Romeo, Juliet to Holland. Love that Juliet airport. And off in the distance as well, they've got the uh, southwest rail train surfaces as well that go back and forth. Uh, but yeah, basically he's created Gatwick Airport again from scratch, even though he's created loads of them already. And he's done like a super optimization of it. And he's redone every single um, sign, stand, the whole lot. So currently I think it's version 2.2 .2 or something like that. Um, but it is really, really good. Love it. Uh, there's Graham parked up. And there's a couple of aircraft landing waiting to depart there. This is what makes VATSIM absolutely fantastic because it is really um, immersive and it, it's very busy at times as well. But when you've got great scenery like this, uh, or Manchester, or Birmingham, uh, it makes the sim so incredible. Kilo, Papa, Juliet, hold short, taxiway, Romeo. And but there we go. Hope you guys love the look of, uh, uh, of Gatwick. I've been following this one since version 1.0 and it's uh, really incredible for the fact that it's free as well. It's really special. Uh, but there we go. Let's get a little bit of that Finnair A315 as well. So, there we go, guys. A uh, little trip from stunning Venice Marco Polo over to London Gatwick uh, with the latest beta. Gatwick Ultra Plus, I think it's called, or something like that. And it's currently in beta. And you can see it's really, really good. Love it. My favourite airport in the sim completely at the moment is this. So um, definitely head to flightsim.to to catch that. It's in the description as well, so if you just want a direct link, head to the description of today's live stream and uh, you guys will be able to get all that sorted. Um, just with a quick easy link. And there goes the monorail down below. George's FS videos, um, I, can, I can try. Um, Hello, so you want one that's located on Delta? Oh, okay, so I can't show you the VMR screen that I've got because one of the things that I'm using at the moment is an experimental thing and I've been told I can't show it. Um, but Jamie, thank you very much as well. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, be sure to join us, uh, especially those of you who are channel members. Please do check out the Club Lounge on our Discord server um, that you guys have got exclusive access to. There's a poll there for next weekend's live stream options, so do check it out and get your vote in for us. To every single one of you that's tuned in, really appreciate you all tuning in. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Be sure to check out all the other videos on the channel and uh, keep an uh, eye out one for one scheduled live streams for the next weekend too. November, and thank you as well to uh, Macro Simulations for the kind donation, the super chat, but also oh, for, for your fantastic Manchester and Birmingham yeah, sceneries. So thank you for all of that and all your hard work. See you all uh, next week. Round of Walling 7821, uh, ready for taxi, uh, just short of November 1, 31. Uh, I'll find 819 contact time, 124, 225. I'll find 8190, thank you, goodbye. Airbus 2127, uh, contact tower 124225, goodbye. 124225, Airbus 2127, goodbye. Turkish 19908, contact tower 124225, goodbye. 124225, goodbye. Uh, Easy 101, you've missed Alpha November, break, Lufthansa 146, hold position. Hold position, Lufthansa 146. Easy 101, any of the stands on your left now before for Lufthansa.